All right, boys, in today's video, we're going to test Deanne against Demon King because I feel like she's going to be really, 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 really good for it. Uh, we can go over a kid really quickly, you know, shots to a sacred treasure podcast. So pretty much what she does is she gets Seal of Love, which is for every, every ally that is damaged by an enemy's skill use, uh, increase the ally's basic stats by 3% up to 10 times. I'm not too sure if this is like individual for them. Like if if like my melee gets hit four times, he gets 12%. And if my king gets hit twice, he gets 6%. I don't know if it's like this or if it's like if melee gets hit, everyone gets 3% every time. Uh, up until 10 times. I'm not too sure because the wording, it's Google Translate. I assume it's if someone's hit, everyone gets hit. But I just, you know, I'll make sure. And also, she... Um, and she takes a stance at the start of battle, which I assume she just does a rank one. Um, so that's interesting. And also when she uses a skill in PVE, everyone gets 10% attack rate stats, which is gonna be really good for Demon King because then he doesn't delete your cards because we have the attack rate up, right? So that's pretty cool. So that's why I think they, they added this whole in PVE thing literally just for Demon King. So she has to be good for Demon King, right? She also taunts and reduces ult gauge when she's hit. So that's really good because that means that we can control his old cage much, much easier. She is single target, which also makes sense. Um, if she was AoE, I think she, they'd want her to work more in PvP, because obviously for melee you want AoEs, because it's a boss, it's only one guy, the single target makes sense. So I think overall, I really like her kit. I hate the end, but I really like her kit. So I'm excited to try out. You also get 30% defense rate stats, but that's like, that doesn't matter too much. But yeah, we'll try out. Uh, do I use food? Yeah, let's, let's try attack food. I, I'm really curious on how she'll perform, okay? Hopefully we don't get a heal card, just so I also have to reset. And a second team, I just I just brought this, just because it's funny, okay? Uh, but hopefully we just stay in this team the entire time. Let's see, Demon King, it's time. Oh wait, he does this. Oh, I thought you did this. Um, okay. I also wonder if that stance that she takes at the start will trigger her passive 10% attack rate stats stuff we're on the wrong team okay well oh, it's a beautiful start all right first attempt right um i don't have attack food now uh when the i i didn't have it on auto so when i when this team spawned in i did use it and i, I forgot to put it on again okay so let's see she 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 does not take a stance that, that's just cap okay so that's just who would translate like right interesting but that doesn't matter too much anyway i don't know what what's his issues oh i guess we also have king's attack rate stats I guess, so he would, he actually is really good for this too. Okay, anyway, we will take her stance, buff, attack, debuff, which is fine. Okay, so we can, we can do this, and then we can attack this guy. We can attack him however many times we want. Um, also, let's check the basic stats. Um, does it, does it have like a stack on her? Okay, so it's two. Okay, so that is nice. So everyone's getting 6% more basic stats right now, because we got hit twice. Obviously, the shield, when you get hit on a shield, doesn't count for like getting hit. But after this next one, we should be done, I think. Because only Gotha took damage, that's why I said this. But as soon as he breaks the shield and everyone takes damage, I think we'll be fine. But uh, I can use some attack cards. I'll save her attack card, I guess. Um, right, so use a skill now, so we get attack, attack rate sets up. Okay, I think I saw it. Yeah, I saw the little attack related, like, kanji pop up. Yeah. So we get that. That's nice. We'll also have to see if it stacks or if it's just one. Uh, I also don't know that because again, I'm, I'm, I literally just unlocked her passive. Um, now I'm user. I wanted to see like for the video. Okay, so four hits, right? No, five hits because Goth also got hit. Five, and then this doesn't count as a hit because you don't take damage. Uh, but we attack right up, so nothing gets deleted. Whoop de doo. All right, so let's see. Is it five? It is five. Okay, so. Perfect. It works. The, it works the exact way it should be working. Uh, I guess we'll increase melee, and let's let's check his stats now with the attack rate. And everything. Yes, yeah, 75k attack with all this funny stuff. Yeah, this guy is about to like this guy next turn is gonna hit very hard. Okay, uh, we'll do this for more attack rate stats, right as well, and then we uh, do this, I suppose. Let's see. Do we get a second attack rate buff after we use this? That's that's what I wanna know. Um, she's doing damage. Uh, I think we are, I don't think it refreshed. No, it does refresh, so it's the same buff, okay. So it's just one, it doesn't stack, okay. To be fair, it makes sense, because if it's stacked, it would say max stacks at some point in the in that passive thing. All right, well, we don't have to use this rule, because uh, he's dead this turn. Yeah, let's, let's see the stats now, move everything, all right? 67k with, bro, I thought you had 438% crit chance for a second. 438% crit damage, which gets doubled. This is gonna do like 10 million, 
I reckon. Um, right. I kind of want to attack before again. Get the attack rate again, because we don't have it right now. Um, oh, we do? No, that's the king one. Oh, because it doesn't override, that's why. Okay, okay. Yeah, definitely doesn't stack then. Um, and then I guess we can just waste king cards, because we don't need them. Let's see. Okay, she's doing 300 ks pretty good. Let's see. 10 million, surely. Ah, oh, you suck ass. 7.6 only? I, I, I thought we'd do at least 10 million here. Um, okay, well, what's the rolls? Level 2, level 1, level 2. Okay, I can use my rank 3s then. Actually, I don't want to. I'm just not going to do anything. Well, I can... I have other level 2s. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah. I can just do this. Diamond shield. Yeah, the, the attack... Okay, the, the attack rate definitely does not stack. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, also, I, I really like this DN. I don't know what it is. Like, I think it's so weird. I, I don't think she's anything special, insane, crazy, but I feel like she's a perfect character. Like, there, I don't I don't detect a singular flaw in her kit, which I would with, like, many other characters, trust me. Uh, let's do this. Rank up melee again for more, for, to give more basic stats because of Gotha Holy Relic, right? Cool. Um, and then level two again. Yeah, just do this out. <laughs> And the next turn, we can pop off. Next turn, we can do some big damage. Two million on that is pretty good. Rank one, and then rank two. There you go. Um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yoink. Now we can get him to one HP. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. I might quit out at the end here to try something else. I'm going to try a full Giants team of her on the... On Demon King. I don't know if it might make that just a, like, a separate video. But, we'll see. Um, well, issue is. Uh, let's do this. Uh, didn't attack us. We, we, we don't have any way to get like melee stuff up right now. So you actually won't do that much damage right now, but it's fine. We'll, I'll actually have to stand up, I think. Just in case. If I want to be that, I think I'll just quit out after this though. I think at next turn I'll just check the stats again and I'll quit out. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I just quit out for this. Um, I just want to see. I just, just want to see the stats again. I don't see because now we we should have made max basic stats. We got the attack rated up. Uh, Gold for passive definitely is fully stacked as well. Um, right, so this this would give us four stacks, which is crazy. So melee should be like an 80k attack now, I think. Um. We'll see. So he's attacking us. He is losing old cage. Very nice. That's very epic. Um, let's see. 80k attack. Can we give him to 80k attack? 90k attack almost on melee. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, definitely. Though we get we got all the tens. We got 30% basic stats. 30% basic stats. By the way, this is crazy. We have no HP increase outside of her, and melee has 583k HP. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Um, I mean, I guess uh, we actually have to use this guy instead. Um, I think I'll do the Giants for a separate video. We'll have to see. Um, if you guys want the Giants, a full Giant team run on this, you can let me know. Because she works with like, she doesn't have any like limitations, right? And the thing is, her stance makes everyone do 40% more damage too, right? Because she has the Holy Relic from Queen Deanne. Yeah, I don't know. Everything about her is just nice. I don't. I, I. I. I really don't like Deanne as a character. Like both in the anime and in Grand Cross, I don't like her usually. Actually, that's that's Cap because I really like. Um, uh, I. I really like what's her name. Uh, I really like uh, the Ragnarok Deanne. I really like her kid. So. Yeah, but anyway, I mean that was that was Demon King. She felt really nice. I've used the other DM before, and she felt nice too. Like, she's not bad, right? Like, um, but she didn't do much. Like, she was just a stand spot. But this this, this one actually does a lot more, right? She gives you basic stats. Uh, she lowers the enemy oak gauge. She gives you defense rate stats, right? Like, we were taking very little damage there as well. She uh, gives you attack rate stats. I already said that. She gives you basic stats. I already said that. Um, she lowers oak gauge when getting hit, which is really nice, which is why I really like the Nashi on this. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. It's just she just feels like a like it's just so rare for Netmarble in recent times. She they just released a character with a good kit that works and it does everything you wanted to do, right? Like the only thing she doesn't do is heal. But come on now, <laughs> come on now, okay? So that's I feel like I don't know. She's perfect. Also, she was a level ninety the entire time in the showcase because I I'm out. I'm out. I haven't, I haven't been doing uh, demons so. Also, I'm like in the middle of getting the rest of my box to 100. Uh, there's like very few characters left now. So yeah, that's why. But anyway, uh, that's it for me, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Kit Chow. Yeah, she's good. I, I think... <sighs> we get three multi, right? How many do we get? You get two free multis, I think. What's the login right now? Uh, you get one free multi, okay. And then do we get... Uh, I forgot, is there missions? I don't think there's missions. Oh, there's this stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I did it today. But yeah, she she's good. I would recommend... May, no, I don't know. Okay, depends on how, what you wear. Like, if you haven't summoned since Melee, right? And you have like a thousand plus gems. Maybe throw a couple. It's a 600 banner. There's a decent chance you get her. And seasonals are kind of cringe to get normally outside of that. So I actually would recommend kind of summoning. I, I don't know. She's just nice. Okay. Okay. You've seen her in the video. She's really good for Demon King. She'll be good for most PVA, for every PVA activity pretty much. 30% basic stats is big. Like she's probably, I, I can see her getting some play in the, um, in some final bosses and stuff as well. Or like, like farm teams or just point team maybe even. Right? Guild balls I can see her being used. PvP, I can see her being used because that 30% basic stat stuff is not restricted to PV. I don't think, right? That part is, yeah, yeah. This is the only PV part is a 10% attack rate stats, which is so useless, by the way. And they could have just given it to her normally, but I guess it would have been like slightly too much. Fair enough. I like that they're doing this though, where they're like, okay, here's a good complete character, and they also have a little bonus in PV. That's nice. But yeah, I, I, I like her. I don't know. I, I have, uh, this whole video is just me being like, I like her. Get her. Maybe. I, it's up to you. It's really up to you. If you think you'll you'll be fine for Global Annie, which is March March third, um, then there you go. Then you're fine. It's in three weeks from now, right? In two weeks we get a step up, and then we get uh, Global Annie. I think that's how it works. Um, or is it just in two weeks from now? I think it's just in two weeks from now. Yeah, which also Elden Ring DLC will be up by then. No cap 25th. I know this for a fact. All right, good job.